first time I did music professionally was when I was 11. My sisters and I had a trio and we took the trio on the road. We'd go to like schools or libraries and do um, performances of international children's music. So want you. at a private school for a while, which I really enjoyed, but I just found that I love doing the private lessons a lot more. I love just working with kids one-on-one, -on -one, seeing a lot, of, a lot of growth, helping them tackle their specific goals. But I think even though I'm not teaching in the classroom anymore, I really identify as a teacher. And so I felt like a good role that I could play in everything that's going on right now is giving parents a tool to talk to their kids about race. started falling around half past four so I slipped inside a used bookstore a bunch of places that don't usually email me back when I'm doing booking have reached out to me to do performances and that's great because I'm really happy to finally have that audience whether it's like for in-person shows or online shows but I'm also at like on some extent being like why don't you guys get back to my emails under normal circumstances? Will you continue to book me next year um, when the most intense moment of this time has blown over? A lot of other artists of color are finally getting booked at places right. where they didn't have access before, and I'm looking to venues to stay accountable to right. what they say their values are and continue to book us. Right. One big group that has been like my heart for people who are interested in my music is teenage girls. And I feel like a lot of times like we as a society kind of write off the power that teen girls have. Some of my favorite people that I've met after shows are girls who are in high school who are just passionate and creative and want to use their voices. My performance, the songs that I write are designed to support my voice. My voice is what I love to share with people. And in the case of Letting Go and a lot of my songs, I'll write them, I'll have this sort of vague idea, and then over a couple weeks I usually like record it on my phone and just listen to it in the car as I drive around. And then I'll start singing along with it, coming up with other lyrics, and then I'll suddenly realize like, oh, this is about something specific. Oh.